It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. Who you doing? All right, you guys, we made it through another week. Congratulations to yourself, because like I always say, it is hard even making it through a day. So shout out to y'all. Now, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Eddie. Bitch. Eddie, thank you so much for having my post notifications on, honey. You was the first to come in, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, y'all don't be playing on Mondays when I say, hey, bitch. Y'all be on it. So thank you. That's why I'm showing you my appreciation towards you, because you're out here supporting me. And without you guys, I would be nothing. All right. Thank you, friend. Hey, bitch. All right. Let's go and get into some shit. That's the sugar honey ice tea, because this week, you girls love staying in some shit. First with Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Jania and Dante. Now, uh, Jania, I know you don't like the girl you said in that YouTube video. You know what? A lot of people don't. Some people don't like you. So fuck it. Anyway, uh, people were talking about the tweets that Jania had made. They were thinking it was either towards Dante. They were speculating that they had broke up, but I'm like, no, they didn't because girl, they said my take up. Hey, our NBA young boy. And then other people were saying it was her responding to folks who were saying get back with him. So child, maybe she was just ranting. I don't know, but here's the post. I pray God sends me genuine people in my life. I don't want nobody from my past, not one ex. I want good energy around me. Y'all can have that old shit. If you hold on to people that's not for you, you're holding them back from their person. So sad to see it go, I'm tired, fuck. So child, I don't know to me. It's giving in the ex. If you're in a relationship, why does the ex even matter? We know you're not going back to your ex because you got a new man. So maybe her and her man might have gotten into a little scuffle that we don't know behind the scenes, girl. And honey, I'm fixing they in Montego Bay going back daiquiris and martinis. I don't know. But what I will say, word on the curve is ever since he done signed to that Atlanta scene, child, he's been running a month, baby. Girl, they say he out here wild and silent. And girl, I don't know, girl, maybe he dibbled and dabbled and she got a little hurt, girl, and he ain't called and texted the girl and then she said, girl, I don't know, honey, but she just be going through it with these men, child. Girl, I have scowled her, girl. Well, good luck with that. Well, if it ain't about me, <laughs> let's get it, okay? Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we have Sarah So Cool and Rue the Rose. Can somebody please be this man friends. <laughs> Somebody, he needs friends, he needs something. What's her name? Royalty, take him back. He is lost it. I, bitch, at this point, I don't even think you could say this man. This man is just long, lonely. <laughs> Ever since he killed that dog, he has not been, <laughs> he ain't been right. get up. But anyway, so, Y'all know him and Royalty done broke up, right? They'll be back together, but like I said, please give them to, uh, what did I say, October around Halloween? You know, that's when the kids gotta go trick or treat. You put a cry for the children. Oh, I need my children for you to go trick or treat. Child, they gonna be together then. <laughs> so, uh, he met up with Ruby Rose. During the meet, he took a picture with her. As you can see, it looks like somebody taking a picture with their fan. And then he gonna tell y'all, do he always do this stupid shit. Do we look good together? What should I buy from the store? Do you think I should get royalty that? Should I apologize? Nigga, what the fuck does it matter if we think y'all look good? Y'all say he's so high school. Anyway, he said, do we look good together? I hope all y'all click. No, I didn't click shit. <laughs> so after that, he go and not just post that picture, he post another picture. And so Ruby gonna put the little, you know, flower, whatever the case may be, like, okay, ooh, cool, great, 
it's a picture. <laughs> and then, child, he gonna post up in her house. Child, what? Come on now, CJ. I was like, Ruben, I know you know better, baby. I know you done been around the block, but this is the dead end right here, girl. What the fuck is you doing? Like? So then he posts up this on a dinner date, and I'm like, oh my God. She done got her. So then a fan had posted on his page, great ass couple, and he pinned it. Child, I guess Ruby was like, you know what? <laughs> I know you fucking lying. So then she goes and she said, please delete these pictures, because baby, it's getting weird. <laughs> like, you know, at first I think she thought it was fun. You know, okay, this is funny, woo, woo, woo. but I think she started to see what he was doing with those pictures, which is making it seem as though they were a couple, things were going on, and maybe one of her little hood niggas probably like, oh, bitch, you fuck with this nigga, fuck you. So she had to get that shit under control, child. I don't know, this is just, you know, hypothesis or whatever case may be. And so, child, after she said that, baby, them pictures started coming down, honey. He took the pictures down on all that, and I was just like, child, she, she nipped that right on in the bud. She said, you gotta stop being so nice to people. I said, oh, <laughs> But then after she told him to take the pictures down, he thought it would be so cool. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> that was the dumbest pun. To go and make a video about taking the pictures down. Nigga, are you dumb or are you stupid? Um, the reason why I put the image out there about me and Ruby was, <laughs> one, I was trapped in this, like, I can't believe it position because I've been in a relationship for nine years with the same person and when we, we came up together. So I never looked at her as a famous person. I just never did. So basically what you just said was, <laughs> the royalty, if you go back to him, bitch, you is stupid. This nigga said, he never looked at you as famous because y'all came up together. But bitch, he sure did look at himself as famous. So bitch, you was really just a sidekick like Batman and Robin to him. You was a supporting actress. And Ruby is the main actress. And I'm sure she never looked at me as a famous person. We just knew each other so long that we just, you know, we, we were just us to each other. And that's not, that's not as fun as being with someone who you didn't create. Who you didn't create? Well, I be damn. You know what I'm saying? Who you didn't build with, who you just met, and they were already on this level. It's not as fun, I'm telling you right now. I don't care what you say. In the comment section, you can be in a relationship right now with someone, become famous with them, gain money, followers, all the stuff that you guys want, right? And then you meet this other person who did it all on their own over here somewhere. And, you know, similar in looks, you know, it ain't gotta be like, oh my God, you're way looking, better looking. It ain't gotta be about that. It's just like, you can respect it a little more when you didn't do it. I don't know how to say it, but that's what it kind of was, right? So I was, I was lost in the sauce. I was definitely like, this is something that I want the world to, to see. Nigga, so you was a fanboy. You was fangirling over Ruby, that's basically what you're saying. Like, because I can't believe it's happening, and, and if I can't believe it's happening, then I know you can't believe it's happening, so I just didn't listen to her. She told me, like, don't post anything. Nigga, that's because all you want is clout. You chase clout, and every time you chase clout, it's gonna fuck you up. Like, don't do that. And I, I didn't respect her wishes, and that was a big, childish, very disrespectful, very selfish thing to do. And when you're in the moment, you never, maybe I should apologize because I'm the one that messed up. Everything was good. Everybody was cool. Nobody had to know what they didn't have to know. And then I just exposed it. And it's like, that's really, really disrespectful. Even though I looked at it like, what do you mean? We're famous. Like, what do you, they want to see us together. This is getting views. This is getting likes. It's like, what about in real life? That's just online. And online is really not real. So you got to learn to respect people's real life privileges and their wishes so once again shout out to ruby rose she is forever in my um apology list so uh yeah super sorry i did that sorry to the subscribers that was like y'all look good together and all this because you don't understand the chemistry was it was something or i wouldn't even have pictures so i'm just saying that I, what, how would i have pictures if there was nothing you know what Somebody gonna be his friend. Buy him another dog or something. He, he just needs something. He needs some type of attention. God, this man here. <laughs> Too old to be acting like this. It ain't about me. Nigga, you fucked it up with Ruby. Next case. Next for the Shigani Ice Tea, we have Austin McBroom and Gibbs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so y'all know Austin. Austin has 
laughing. Girl, why am I laughing at this man? Okay, so y'all know Austin has been taking boxing serious. So ever since he knocked Bryce Hall out, he feels his dog. Oh, woo -woo. <laughs> it's just so good. He's trying to close the gap, then punch. Look. Oh, big oh, uppercut. Yeah, look at the finish. Oh, Roger McBroom. There he goes again for the third time. Oh, there goes McBroom. Big oh, run. This one's over. It's the seventh figure. That man dropped reportedly five times. <laughs> Before he got knocked out, bitch, when I buckled too, I would have said, it's over with, just let me out the ring. But he got heart, I give it to him. But when that man uppercut that nigga and put him to sleep, I said, I hope he is okay. I hope he's okay. Child, look at what the people had to say on the internet. Well, honey, I I'm glad that this I'm glad that this happened because hopefully it humbled him because this man thought that he was untouchable. Child, now you can focus, like you said, on your family and some of this debt and the other bullshit allegedly that you got going on. Uh, that man hit him so hard, y'all. They knocked him not only out, but into retirement. Good morning, everybody. Last night was fun. It really was. Big shout out to Gib. Congratulations, my guy. Well deserved. I'm excited to see what you're going to do next. Left me a little bad wound right here, but I'm good. And uh, for me, spend time with family and take a little break. I've been going at it for the past six months. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for all the love and support as always. Love you guys. Well, girl, I mean, he done got some sense knocked into him. We wish him the best of <laughs> focusing with his family. Maybe he can stop allegedly cheating too. Okay, well. I hope he's all right. They, you know, they say that boxing will fuck your brain up. <laughs> and you gonna get a little cat scan. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's kiki next cat. Next with Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Tiffany Haddish and Eric Spears. One thing I will say, baby, Lizzo's team, they are not playing. Only got one man, and this be my man. When I say my man, he really my man. Cause it's mighty funny how all this stuff is coming up after he said that crazy shit about Lizzo. God will really, really, really humble you in the blink of an eye, honey. This is a, this is an extortion case. Uh, this is a shakedown, uh, and I didn't need my lawyer to tell me this to say this, but you know I'm gonna echo her words. We won't be shaken down, um, and believe me, it's bothering me not to talk about uh, the skit. Um, because Annie and I have been talking about it and there's some very valid things I feel like I have to say or want to say uh, but just can't at this time um, and I'm no coward uh, I'm not running from anything and I'm not guilty of anything it's the reason why I won't turn my mentions off on my um, Instagram it's the reason why you know um, you know I'm not deleting any of my old posts um, you know, and I would love to address it head on. Tony Montana, Scarface, balcony scene, shooting a thousand Colombians. Uh, but I can't, and it's paining me to do so because I'm a fighter. I'm not a runner. Uh, and, uh, my character's being assassinated. Um, again, I, I, I want to address the skit especially, uh, but I just can't. Uh, there was a woman who hit me up on Instagram. And she wrote me, hey, Aries, if you need my help regarding the, and she also mentions the person's name who's trying to shake us down. As much as I want to expose that, I won't say her name either. Uh, but she goes, if you need my help regarding the blank situation, have your legal team reach out to me. I've known this person for over 35 years. They're a huge scammer. I can prove it to you. Uh, here's my number. I will be able to assist you. And I will say this, if you, you can even dig up the history yourself, but this person has a history of these false accusations, uh, saying that they've been raped. They even once blamed the whole entire San Bernardino police department for allegedly, uh, fondling her and her children at the same time in the same house. Pitch it at an entire police department. Come on, man. And what's killing me is. You know, all the people hit me up 
at no point there's a little bit of, you know, common sense or red flags or any, you just, whatever, man. People are just running with this. And it didn't help with the Lizzo thing. So uh, I'm having a bad week. Uh, but it be what it be. So again, thank you to the people that support, love, standing by me. I love y'all back. Uh, now let's have a podcast. So then Tiffany brought her silence. She was like, I know people have so many questions and want to know what she has to say. But she was like, she can't speak right now because there is an open legal case going on about this. And, you know, that can incriminate her or whatever. So she wants to make sure she says nothing wrong. As far as him, he can't talk about it either. Because people are like, well, why aren't y'all talking about it? Why aren't y'all saying this? And why aren't y'all mentioning it about the skit? They can't. And as far as Aries, this is just you reap what you sow type of deal. It's just a whole lot, a whole lot. Of- and then on the podcast, he got emotional. Because she said that. You're still evolving into your prime. And I thought that was interesting that you said it and my mother echoed it. Or better yet, she said it and you echoed it. it. Because I just went, yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. As much as I'm nervous, as much as I, in the back of my mind, because I already felt like my career was over before all this. Uh, I felt I was blackballed and my shit was over. But I always said, I felt like I was one thing away from the turnaround. But now with this, I'm almost certain uh, that Tombstone is written. But something, and maybe this is me being naive, maybe this is me being corny, but from the day my mother had my back and and groomed me into this thing called showbiz, uh, I believed everything she said. I believed every word. I believed... She's the reason why I'm here. So if the woman whose body I came out of says I'm going to be all right, be all right. And I, I think that this is, uh, everybody loves a good comeback story. Well, then be, be ready because this is going to be a market. <laughs> <laughs> Baby might as well save them tears. I don't think nobody's going to feel sorry for you because you weren't crying. When you said those things about Lizzo, and it was some things, honey, that's, that's just a really whole lot, a whole lot of going on. We'll keep y'all up to date about this, but all right, well, it ain't about me. Let's keep keeping this. Hey! Next, we should go to Ice Tea. We got India and Lil Durk. I don't believe this shit. I think they just in a little argument, honey, and they're gonna get back together. They do this every six months. This is an on and off thing. Baby, here, buy her some roses. She'll be right back. Here, take on a little trip. She'll be right back. So she goes to the internet and she writes, I'm a free agent. Now, we all know what that means. That means you solo to do whatever you want to do, baby. Then when they look at her friend list, he's gone. I'm just like, well, do you go again? So, child, it's been a couple of days and Dirk ain't said nothing, but baby, as soon as I was gonna make mention Monday and be like, get him some time, they gonna be back together, baby. I go look at the shade room and here he go. That puts in mind forever. Welcome to Death Row. I said, nigga, what? <laughs> I, I know you fucking lying, but baby, India then responds with cap. And I'm like, oh shit, maybe she really left this time. But nah, they're gonna be back together, child. It's just a little disagreement. They just plus and they always wanna put us in their group chat for us to see what they gotta talk about, baby. So um, give them give them like three days. They're gonna be good. Watch. It's gonna be a picture up, they eating, or in the bed later, giggling, or they on a little date. It's gonna be something. He's gonna give us some roll, something. You know what? I believe every time he gift this woman is when he do something wrong. I think he be cheating. I really think he be cheating. And when we be like, oh, look at all the gifts he done gave us. Those are really apology gifts. But we thinking it's sweet shit. Hmm. You know, y'all, I don't know if this is true or not. And maybe this is why it broke up or she said she's a free agent. It's because word on the curb is he got a baby that's not even almost one years old. And then you propose to this girl. Knowing this. So they say me cheated, child. Uh-uh. I don't know. These men are crazy. You can have the best woman and just do stupid shit. But what does she say? Ain't she like, ain't, um, don't he got six baby mamas or something like that? I don't know. I can't keep up with these men. I'm a, what? <laughs> I don't know, child. We'll see. If it ain't about me. Let's get kids, okay? 
Next to the sugar honey iced tea, we have Emily Chopper and Marissa. Child, from the looks of it, it seems like everybody breaking up. I don't know what's going on. Must be something to warn. Well, they take it at Twitter, and this is what Emily Chopper was saying. It hurts my heart that a lot of people's time is up with me. It really does, but I gotta do what's best for me. And then she also wrote, I'm honestly scared for my future and love life. Like, I just don't think I ever wanna love again. I just rather not. So then he goes and said, don't tell me you love me, but then at like a weirdo. The love they have from the start ain't the love in the end. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Then he goes, if it ain't peaceful, I'm out. Now, mind you, ain't this the same way that said men are born to cheat, well, uh, procreate, or whatever the fuck he said? So why are you worried about this one woman? Should you have, like, multiple women? Why are you stressed out over this one woman? Like, this was supposed to be a monogamous relationship. No, sir, you said cheat. You can do what you want to do, procreate, have multiple women and get them pregnant. I, just, I don't know why she upset, because if that's the way he thinks she should have known this day was coming, maybe he did do that, and that's why she leaving, and he upset because she not down for a ride. I was an amazing partner, an amazing woman. I love deeply submitted. I was loyal. <laughs> Give me a second. Faithful, and I grew into an amazing woman. I know I'm not perfect, but I love this version of myself. I realize I could be the best woman I could be and still not be enough. But girl, I'm not gonna keep reading this bullshit. Girl, you knew that. That man already told you what he was looking for. Like I tell you, I knew that how fine you are, how much money you got. Niggas go nigga, okay? And today, ready to settle down. That's why I tell y'all, do you, boo. You got that shit ain't gonna keep no man. A man gonna cheat if you wanna cheat. A man gonna do what he wanna do. A person, put it that way. A person gonna do what they want to do. I don't care how fine you is. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care. They gonna do. People gonna people. So she kept writing all this bullshit. I'm like, girl, okay, get it out. Get, at this point, get a diary because we, it's just too much. You're talking too much. We don't care. At this point, just say he cheated or just say, girl, we broke up. But all this. Girl, it's like you self-evaluating yourself to us. We don't give a fuck. You saw what he said, you weirdo. <laughs> Did you fuck up my mouth? Bitch, he said it, he said it real, he's simple and to the point. That's all you had to do, get to the point. You gotta read all that shit to know what the fuck going on. We don't give a fuck about all that. So I submit, I'm soft, I submit, I'm not. Bitch, honestly, you want enough. <laughs> Men already said one motherfucker ain't enough. So shit, you just, <laughs> Should have been on that bullshit. You one person. That ain't enough. God damn. You just crying to us. What the fuck we gonna do? Can't do shit. Okay. <laughs> Want me to go talk to him for you? <laughs> you can't go miss us. Chopper, please. She, she submitted. <laughs> Take her back. She was nice. She was loyal. <laughs> Good woman. Girl, that nigga don't give a fuck. Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Let's be sensitive. <laughs> she was. It ain't no, didn't work for her either. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep. Next case. Next one, Ice Tea. We got Nicki Minaj versus the girls. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I don't really think the girls were mad at Nikki, but they, uh, the girls had a lot of stuff to say. Siding with bitches who had plans to end you is crazy. It's a thin line between being supportive and dick riding. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. That's what she said. Be careful from fake smiles. The industry is so weird, if only y'all knew the half. Y'all always fly shit out now. And I'm just like, wow. Okay, at first I thought she was, you know, being a friend, saying, watch like, the girl smile on your face, Liz. But then it's just like, the industry's so weird. Yeah, so is you mad that Nikki didn't put you on the song? I'm like, you already got your song. Or are you just mad at the girls? Like, like I said, use these ads, because y'all girls just be talking up the side of the water. I don't know, bruh. It's just so hard to put the pieces together. And then Nikki said, boom, I'm glad you mad. What the happened? What is going on in these streets? Girl, these girls start pointing fingers at each other. I'm tired of this other shit. Y'all need to let us know what the fuck going on. Y'all wanna put us in the group chat and let us know the names. 
Who the fuck does? Me and all the girls she did the song with running shit on the queen mix while bitches talking shit in the group chat and ask their fave bloggers to say mean shit about us while pretending not to see these hoes talking slick and pulling the bad guy. And I'm just like, well, bitch, what group chat? Can I see this group chat? Who was talking slick in the group chat? And they done showed the girls. Ooh, that was so messy. The most dangerous decision in life you can make is choosing the wrong side. Y'all don't watch the superhero movies? Evil prospers for most of the movies, but never win. The evil stepsisters were loving life until they weren't. Everything in the dark, everything comes to light. So, child, somebody said something and did something. I don't know, but girl, we gonna find out. Somebody gonna break one day and really just start talking shit. All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Hey, well, that's all I got for the Shigani Ice Tea. Let's go on and get into this man. First of all, okay, we have Jordan B versus Karina and Cuban Dog. I thought we was never gonna see this girl again. I thought I said, you know what? Woo, 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 okay? But I be damned, she bad. So Cuban Dog took it upon herself to post a video of her with JD Youngin's son, which is Jordan B's child. And she knew that was going to make that girl go off. <laughs> and her caption was, Junior is so cute, he's his daddy's son. And I'm just like, Oh God, here she comes. She's like, y'all really be fans. You posted a video of my son that you had to sneak in when I wasn't there by Janita's house or Sinitra's house or whoever it was, honey. She said, but you know, he's cool. He is cute and he has fans and you one of them. So she didn't stop there and she said, try to get off my baby daddy with that trash ass shit. Stop the cap. I've been silent too long. <laughs> baby, we... <laughs> When were you ever silent? Let's be real. But anyway, I'm tired of this shit, but I keep forgetting he had fans. And I guess she's talking about J.D. Youngin. But sweetie, you was his number one fan, let's be real. So, whatever. That's what you do, you are and acting like. I'm just like, oh, okay, I don't know what the fuck she's talking about at the end, but she called the girl a fan. <laughs> then Cuban comes back and says, you ain't getting no money off, Jay. Let him rest. I'm like, damn. Come laugh your ass back to the mental hospital where you was already at. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these women are ruthless. I'm gonna pray for you because you're really crazy. <laughs> and please don't. He's so messy. And please don't. Oh my God. And please don't wish death on me. You are really crazy. I guess this is supposed to be Cuban calling her. She said, girl, you is weird as fuck and upset. You want to argue behind my baby daddy who is dead? Girl, get the fuck on. I got to raise his son. You are a non-factor. And all of us was really trying to figure out why you was at the funeral anyway. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was asking that question too. I was like, why she there? But you know, hey, I ain't gonna... I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't gonna lie, Jordan was on the roll, baby. She was cutting up. Then she said one thing that was real, and you can't deny that because she did have that man baby. So for you to have somebody, well, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes you can have a baby and it don't be real. They just they just drop their seed off of you. But anyway. So it's a supporter saying, what are y'all cool? <laughs> what happened now? <laughs> everybody just everybody just be lost. I bitch, I be lost too. And so Jordan responded with, never was cool. Them hoes was bumping coochie. You ain't never seen me in a bitch face. Now Cuban comes back and she says, you're the devil. <laughs> bitch, okay. Bitch, you wish death on him and his baby. And the last day you, you was with him, you went to jail. <laughs> I'm like, 
Damn, they is fighting. Like, they are really fighting on the end. Like, they are fighting on the end. Like, this shit is hurting me. Some of the shit they saying. You, oh, you was not with him. Light ass bitch. You was just a hoe with a wet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Girl, you got sent out by your way. And she didn't stop there. She said, bitch, you said he called somebody broke when you was out there crying about a lawyer trying to get all Jay money. Then here she called, oh, bitch, I ain't gotta cry about nothing, bitch. <laughs> bitch, get your fat straight. I was like, damn, that she in her face now. They finna swing, they finna swing. I don't have to do all that because he is Jay's only son. So I'm guessing she said no matter what, she gonna get the money because she know that he left the money for his son. But I guess she gonna dibble and dabble in that money unless he gave it to his mom and then to hold the money to get to the son. I don't know about it because I don't see the lawyer that Frank. Like, but I see the fuck. I love to talk in front of hoes so you can get the wrong information. Mama, come correct. And to close it off, this is what sent me up a motherfucking hill. <laughs> Bitch, the city girls that came out and took off and your ass was right in my phone. <laughs> Not even the city girl. That's too big of a comparison. <laughs> but bitch, <laughs> Glorilla Glo 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 really done came to ain't your ass off. <laughs> 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 that is a funny because that shit is true. Glorilla really done just came out and pitched on everything. And Cupid, who, when's the last time somebody said put Cupid on? I ain't heard it. Glorilla came and ate your ass up and left you where the fuck you started. Come on now! <laughs> Jay and Jordan! Girl, we may not see eye to eye, girl, but bitch, I see eyes with you now, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you came and cut up, bitch, you bitch, bitch. <laughs> so, child, I think that last, I think that last little one hit home with you. Hit home with Cuban because Cuban sure ain't said shit after that. She's still crying to this day. That's what legend says. But anyway, I don't know. Cuban, if you good, girl, <laughs> please tweet something. <laughs> anyway, so then, child Karina. All I got to say is I forgive every fucking mother. I'm not on no hateful worry about another bitch. None of that. And. I'm saying this because y'all need to let this shit go right now while I'm saying this shit. I forgive you for everything you said. That's some real ass shit. Like, my baby gone, yeah. Jay gone. And I should hate you like a motherfucker, but that shit get too much energy. I'm good off all that shit. Like, you got it. And the only thing I can do is pray for you. Because I really feel bad for your ass, too. And I understand all this shit. Because I really be on demon time. Like, I really get crazy. Like, I'm really in battling with some real life shit. So the only thing I can do is just let you. I'm trying to. You better overcome all this shit and fight my demons. And I feel like this is the fucking step to that shit. Because I swear I'll be on demon time 24-7, like, all the time. Can't nobody do me without me spazzing. And I got to stop being like that. that shit. But I ain't going to lie, I already done said too much. So I'm going to end it with I'm still praying. And I'm gonna overcome all this shit. Yeah, I just gotta sit back and watch. God got me. If he ain't got nobody, he got me. And you can see that girl is hurting. Cause you know, that was the last girl he was with before he passed. So I'm sure, you know, stuff was still fresh. It's just, she's, she's hurting. So then she even went and she liked the picture of Jay, the youngest son. And you know, I feel she do want to be in that child's life or whatever the case may be because she had an attachment to Jay and then, you know, her child passed. So it's kind of like, you know what, boom, that could have been me with his baby. I'm sure they were going to probably try again. And, uh, honey, Jordan is holding that shit over their heads, baby. <laughs> she is not letting them see her child. Do you hear me? She, 
teeth is not letting up. So then she came and she said, it's cool when they do it, but it's a problem when I do. Stop speaking on me. So child, the people start calling her bitter and all this other stuff, which I do feel like, girl, this girl, you wish death on her baby and it happened. This girl is trying to say, you know what? I forgive you and you still have all that hate in your heart. Jordan, I'm just telling you, girl, you need to be careful. I know you may be mad at these girls and all this other stuff, but just be careful. Because something really big is gonna happen, child. And it's really gonna, it's gonna happen. Something's gonna wake you up. And I hope it ain't too much, but something's really, I thought it was gonna be, you know, I thought the J situation was a lot, but girl, I see you still got a lot in you. And um, I just really hope whatever it is, it gonna be worse than that because it's, it's gonna be something, girl. And I just, I'm praying for you, sis. All right, well, if it ain't about me. <laughs> Let's keep it. Okay. Next for the cat, we have Six Hundred Breezy and Queen Key. Now this right here is really sad because um, it's dealing with his now late girlfriend Raven. So I'm just gonna go off stuff because I went in a rabbit hole on TikTok and everything. And baby, this story is crazy. I don't know what to believe now. So Six Hundred Breezy took to the internet and he posted this, which is his late girlfriend Raven's text message, right? and he was confirming her passing. Going off what a blog said, they were saying that was their final text message, okay? So to me, if that's true, if that was her final text message, why didn't you contact somebody? Why didn't you call a friend or family member and say, hey, this is what she sent me. Y'all might wanna go check on her. Okay, because that's how he was delivering it like that was their last message. Because then on his post, he wrote, Man, why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to us? I told you I was coming back home. I promise. So to me, it, it seems as though he was out of town when he got that message, right? I can pause it and read everything he said. He started saying, take mental health serious because he said his baby was hurting. His ex-girlfriend, supposed to baby mama, Queen Key, came out and she tweets, nigga trying to act like ain't the problem, man, beat it. Boy, fuck you, her death ain't about you. I see what she's saying, cause he has said some hateful things to this woman, but you're talking about mental health. This is one of the things that she posted that he has said. And fuck them kids, don't be, fuck them trippers, don't be that bitch started that room because I ain't want her. I ain't want her, I want them kids. She running around to him talking about some gay shit. Bitch, fuck you, be a single parent. I don't give a fuck if I, if I am or ain't the dead bitch. So honey, let's dig into this a little bit more. So it started floating around on TikTok saying that her cousins were coming out, they were getting mad about the situation, like saying he's faking, he's lying. Listen, all of this is alleged cause I ain't trying to get, you know, sued or no shit like that. But listen, so he got her phone, right? But the messages was chopped. Her family asking him to give the phone back. He's not giving the phone back. And then on top of that, he's not posting when that message was sent. Like he's not posting a stamp date. And then you go to her, her Instagram or her Facebook and she don't even type like that. And on top of that, she they said she was found in her apartment, but she said that she was at the bridge. And then on top of that, she's talking in past tense inside of the messages. And then on top of that, those messages, those messages were so detailed, like from the time, like from when she said it's 5 p.m. here. Why does that matter? Like, like the more details that come out. It's looking real fishy for him. I don't know though. And now that I'm looking more into it, that girl been dead since August 31st. They didn't discover her body to the six. You posted her messages yesterday, which means you she been text you this. You didn't give a fuck enough to have authorities go and check on her, but you post the messages that she sent you on Instagram for clout and sympathy. Like I been knew he was lame when he decided he wasn't gonna take care of those three kids that he helped create. But this is like the ultimate, like this is like the ultimate lame shit you could ever do. Like clout is really a drug for some of y'all. When it start to get a little weird, he goes and says, "No, that text was from months ago, not now." But why in your caption you said, "Baby, I told you I was coming home." Should you have already been home then if that was from months ago? And if the girl said that she was getting ready to jump off of a bridge, how come they said the family had not heard from her for days, which is not like her. So then they did a wellness check and they found her in the house. And how did you get her phone? And then they pointed out 
As you can see, I'm gonna put it right here. The way the text message was set up and written is how he writes the ends and then the period and start the sentence with end. She, she ain't never did that. Y'all, something ain't right. And my thing is, if that was her last text message to you, and from your caption, you saying, I was coming home. When you got back home, wouldn't it have made sense to go over there if you ain't heard from her? And you said you did everything in your power to help this girl and all this stuff, but you didn't know she was passed away from August 31st to now? Something ain't right. And so then he goes up and he shows a message saying that his baby mama, that his girlfriend wanted to kill herself before when his baby mama hit him up saying that he had AIDS, as you can see right here. So now I'm thinking, did she finally go get tested and she had? It's too much. They need to sit down and talk to him. They need to have a conversation. Cause something ain't right. I wonder what this autopsy gonna say. Let me leave that to the police. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep next. Okay. Next one, okay, we have Reggie versus Kim Kardashian. Now, baby, I was up on my bed, looking at my phone like, ooh, bitch, this tea is hot. When I tell you Ray was going in, and I believe Ray, I believe Ray is innocent, and I believe everything he was saying because Ray really don't bother nobody. Ray really just chill. So I was like, how did all this even come about? How did it start? What happened? Ray has spoke about this back in May, trying to clear his name, whatever the case may be. And he's been holding on to this for like 20 years. And it wouldn't have came back up if WAC 100 would have tried to scare Kim to thinking there was a second take. If this is what I'm getting, I think I'm right. If I'm wrong, fix me in the comments. So, you know, it brought all this back up now. So it's like, you know, the media keeps throwing this out and making him like he's just this person. They slandered his name and just so much. So Ray has brought it up now. And everybody's probably like, well, why now? Why not now? You know what I'm saying? If you've been looked at as this person who did this to Kim or whatever the case may be, and you're really not, then yes, tell your truth. And people need to believe him. He was not the mastermind behind all this. It was Kim's mama. And Ray J then goes and says that they would still be together if Kim wouldn't have stole $800,000 from his sister, his family. So anyway, child, Ray ends up going on his Instagram and just airing everything out, okay? So in the caption, he very much said what I just told y'all, the, uh, uh, the $800,000. Then he said the, the lie detector man was a fake. He's a fraud. He didn't even go to school for it. He's not. If you Google his name, John Cron or whatever his fucking name is, it's in the thing. Thing. They said that he is a liar. He is known for giving out fake polygraph tests, girl. My God. And I can see them doing that shit, too. These, these Hollywood people be doing some weird shit when they get their stuff in some mess. He then goes and said that they never sued that guy, Steve, I think, whatever, for five million because they made that up together. And Chris, she is conniving and smart. That, baby, that woman know how to make some shit shake and get rid of some shit. Y'all seen that movie, Who Killed Sarah? Whatever case it be. She like that mama. That mama made sure she took care of that family. Whatever she had to do to keep that family name good, she did it. It meant to kill her own. And baby, that's what I feel Miss Crispy doing. She she been slutting them girls out for a long time, allegedly, from what the streets have said word of the curve. So anyway, he goes live, and this is what uh, Ray J said. He had a whole PowerPoint projecting everything ready. So uh, before we get into it, y'all can hear what he said. Mind you, he showed the contract, he showed everything, Kim's signature, her writing, her agreeing to it. The mama even made them do the video three times. That means you sat there and watched your daughter have sex. You let them do it three times. Oh, they said the first one was too raunchy, so they had to do it again. Get on Chris. And the word on the curb is people say she been doing that stuff. She did that. I believe it. I believe because she he said he didn't know shit about nothing. And she said they could capitalize off this stuff and make money. I don't know what the f you think this is, but you have with the wrong person. 
period. You have with the wrong black person, period. With the wrong black man. Oh no, you done with the wrong one. I was just gonna handle this legally, right? And just hit you in court and just get what I'm deserved from all of y'all being foul and trying to defame me and trying to make me look bad. When you know what's up, In one hour, I'm having them send everything I got. We going through receipts tonight, Chris. We going through receipts tonight, Kim. Everything that I got, I'm gonna let them see. And it ain't nothing. Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that should say sex tape number one, sex tape number two, and guess what? The third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, they call Santa Barbara sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the mother and said, hey, we're going to go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on to whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud. It's so crazy because... Kanye like can put up everybody tech message that he talked to right and then and like us to do it and everybody will be mad But get this get a glory Fuck that glory. Let's talk about it dog. Y'all can hate me on you. I'm doing this for my kids man. I got nothing to lose for my kids. Check it out. So I'm assuming you know the full story This is me being honest of 05 right how it happened. I'm trying to be super cool I'm just I just want my name to be clear. I'm here for peace and happiness for my kids future That's all I care about this and, and like, that's all I get for. Let's put it all to rest, bro. I'm in the hospital. God wants this to happen. Absolutely. Let's hop on when you get out the hospital. Listen, I'm going to be here for a week getting over pneumonia. I'm sober and I'm honest in here all by my self. And then keep going, keep going. Much love, yada, 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 all that shit. Is it too late to call? Yeah, nigga. I'm up whenever. Keep going. Let me know when. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Like, we got all night for this. Why does it look like she bought you? Nah. What the? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm searching Kim Kardashian. Not Come on, yo. Yo. Like, what are y'all doing? Y'all y'all folding under pressure. What? There you go. No, it's pulling up like a weird. Oh, yeah. She blocked me, huh? Oh, oh that's dope. Under. It oh, don't matter if she DM. blocked me. Go Hold DM. on. Yeah. Yeah, she just blocked me. She nervous. She keeps going. Kim nervous. Here we, like go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Type right there. First oh. one. Bam. Slow down. Y'all slow down. That's the problem. Y'all moving too fast. And my phone you get on. No, I didn't let you. You want to see the sex tape contract? There go the sex tape contract. There, there it is. There's the whole thing, right? That's the set. That's my handwriting. That's it, right? This is the sex tape full contract. So that's my hand right. Here's what happens. Kim is rushing me. Her mom's rushing me. Let's get this done. Come on. Like, let's get it signed. Kim's with me while I'm signing my contract. She's like, hurry up, babe. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and help you. I'm going to sign your deliverables for you so you can just rush it through. So Kim signs the deliverables. Exactly what we about to sell to Vivid. It's her signature. I mean, it's her handwriting. Giving, giving Steve the the... Giving him the right to sell it. Like, here's the deliverables. And look who signed my deliverables and was in the room. Look who, look who was in the room with me. Look who wrote exactly. That was a big bug. You saw that shit? What? what was that? Here we go. What the f was that on my, on my, on my face? That was a bug, huh? Yeah, that was. That was like a f I ain't never seen a like that. Damn, that Chris Jenner and them trying to send everything at me. And babe, when I tell you he was showing messages, he wasn't leaving out nothing. If you ask me, I believe him. Because it's the same way everybody be acting that deal with them. Pete got his ass up out of here because I feel he was like, this is something I don't want to be a part of. I got to go. That was a whole bunch of mess going on. It was a whole lot of whole lot of y'all had to be in that live, baby. It was a lot. Yeah, girl, I hope Ray J get his money. I hope Ray J uh, truth come out because 
Yeah, them Kardashians, they, it's something going on. It's something going on. And he might be the one to crack it. All right, Shim. Well, it ain't about me. Let's keep keeping this okay. Next up, okay? we got Megan Stallion versus Nicki Minaj. And this is messy if you really look at it. Imagine telling someone you don't want to drink because you were, you know, at the time, possibly pregnant because you were actively trying to have a baby. Imagine that person saying, oh, girl, you can go to the clinic. Imagine posting photos that you are pregnant and the person doesn't even like it or say congratulations. But then when you post that Beyonce sent you flowers congratulating you, the person then tries to attempt to send you flowers thinking, oh, I can use this opportunity as I use everyone else. She'll post that, that I sent her flowers. I didn't even let them shit in my motherfucking eyes. Y'all, the girls are fighting, bro. I don't care what nobody say, the girls are fighting, honey. So baby, the fans start turning up and one of them said, no names are mentioned, but you were the first to respond on if the shoe fits. And then she said, so this person didn't mention me? And not only that, Megan goes and says, if someone asks you, you can respond, right? Or that don't apply for every user on Twitter. If someone don't directly at my name, why they be confused when I reply? Then a, another commenter said, this person be so fake for real right now. And then Megan responded, this person, as in the person who pressed the ad button, y'all not this crazy. So somebody used the ad button and said, so somebody used the app button and said, at Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj is accusing you of encouraging child abortion and child endangerment with alcohol. This isn't something to stay quiet on. And then she said, lie. I know y'all probably thinking like, okay, well, so where are we going with this? Why do you think that they might be really beefing? Because I'm like, they did that Hot Girl Summer song. They was real cool. They were like besties. And everybody's like, oh, this is just so genuine. But now they just mysteriously just don't hang out anymore. Don't talk, don't nothing. Oh, I'm just chilling and the girls send me this information. I'm just like, I'ma see what y'all think. So I'm guessing Nikki had tweeted, oh, that's word to your doggy. And as you know, Megan got <laughs> the dog, right? And then somebody else, the girl by the name of Shay had tweeted out, I never got it till I saw something, but the girl never dropped a tear on those interviews. Nikki mine, boom. And then it says, D drops tear. Nikki goes and sh she allegedly tweets, yes, Shay, check mark, correct. Now, again, these are supposedly post and deletes, okay? So, I don't know. Something, something is going on. I don't know. Let me leave it alone, girl, because them fandoms is crazy. They be ride or dies, baby. All right, well, y'all, let me know in the comments if that, just let me know. If it ain't about me, let's get it. Okay. All right, y'all. Um, that's all I got for Mr. Mandy. Like I always say, send me the mess. Y'all send it. I talk about it. Um, and yeah, this is it. So, all right, you guys. God only made one you. If you don't be using nobody else will. Until then, I will see you next Monday. Next. Hey. A whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on.